so desperately look for, you are looking from. Do you know you are the epitome of prosperity and wealth and abundance in your own beingness? But you do not see this, you only see the void. You do not see the abundance of emptiness. You see the emptiness in your bank account, as you call it, and frustrate yourself. You pay luxury tax on your purse. You pay income tax on what is contained within it. Sales tax on anything you take out of it. Mm -hmm. And you tax your soul in the contemplation of your taxes. Yes. <laughs> Taxing subject here. <laughs> Truly. Yes, okay, we do that. Granted, I, we can't argue that. We mm. do that. It becomes quite a pressure cooker. But are you saying that we should be very, quote, spiritual here and think of all the wealth and fulfillment and enrichment I have in my heart mm. and not worry about the bills or ever having a house in Malibu or driving a Mercedes? Do you know what real prosperity is? It is a joyous unconcern for possessions. So you are saying that? In a manner of speaking, but paradoxically, when you express in this fashion, your possessions are abundantly coming onto you. Say that again for me, please. Mm. I miss that. When you release the pressure yes. Yes. about the possessions, they free flow onto you through the river of your own provisions. So let go of having to have the mm. material. The desperation. Things. And that, that works for a lot of things, doesn't it? Indeed. You no, know, that is what has caused uh, many contemplations of weddings for an entity stops searching so fervently for their mate and they pop around the corner. Yes. <laughs> and they stop searching for a, a life to be within the womb and all of a sudden they are rolling a crib within the household. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That which is economy, it is changing. Your dollar bill will no longer have the validity that it has had in your past eras of time. Right. Mm, this is all right. You will be basing your economy upon one another, the energy that is contained within you, rather than a symbol. So we're saying that on an international level or a global level, um, the value of the dollar going down, the stock market fluctuating, all of these things are not really going to matter because we're not going to be based on what the dollar's worth? In the matter of speaking, um, that which is your stock market has caused quite a bit of analysis paralysis in your time. Mm, and so is your dividend, per centum per annum perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> My stockbroker would love to talk to you. And the Street Brothers, Dun and Brad, huh? Yes, yes, right. Now. So. Mm, that which is your global economy will come to understand a freeing of their own economic structure. They also will not be based upon that which is of paper. And they will be allowed freedom to flow through the countries, to flow through the cultures, to flow even through the land and the peoples, because the energy is what they will be expending and exchanging. So this sounds like a great improvement. I'm not understanding it totally, but generally will be based on a different system and it's going to be one that's for the better. Indeed. So we shouldn't worry. Oh, but of course not. Well, Do you know who the grandest financier of your Bible is? The grandest financier of my Bible? Mm. Noah, he floated his stock when the whole world was in liquidation. <laughs> I, I knew you were a comedian. I wasn't too sure <laughs> when you were going to sneak some of those in on us. <laughs> mm. And you can too. Yes, I can occasionally. You talked about giving countries more freedom. We sometimes tend to think that money and wealth ah, gives us freedom. First of all, your response to that? That which is freedom is the option of leisure rather than the pressure of what you call your rush hour. Mm -hmm. The hour when everything is such a rush that you are at utter standstill. Mm -hmm. and that which is the option of joy as a choice rather than a result will be the understanding of all your nations interglobally. And as you understand this, they will have the freedom to allow the flow through their culture, through the resources that they exhibit even within their own being. Do you know that the grandest resource of any nation is its consciousness? Currency is only consciousness, you know. And consciousness is the only currency upon marketplace of life. 
I don't quite understand how currency is consciousness. Because your dollar bill represents your consciousness. If you are in a depressed state, in an impoverished manner of resonance, you will be without your dollar. It is your consciousness that allows its presence or non-presence. So as we think, that's so you how are. we... Mm. That's what we manifest. Indeed. Um, as our economy, well, like, you've answered this already, really, as the economy changes, our perspective, our attitudes about freedom change along with them? You will understand freedom as a ring in your heart rather than a ring in your nose. Gold? <laughs> gold ring on my nose? <laughs> so, just kidding. A gold ring in your heart. The ring of freedom, of liberty and justice for all. Truly, you will not have the pressure associated with it. For freedom will allow all nations to honor one another, to respect one another's differences, to truly flow from nation to nation without judgment. You know that this is, at least from my part over here, it's hard to grasp all of this at once. It seems like such a big, wonderful overview. And if I had to go home and tell everybody what I, what I learned, basically I'd say things are going to really get better. That's basically the message. And some of our belief systems are not going to be the same, and some of the things we depend on are not going to exist. That which is called the holding of your currency because you feel another will deplete you of it mm -hmm. will not be the case in your times to come. For all is really of equality. Do you know this? There is really not lacking upon the plane. There is only a difference of perspective, a difference of consciousness, of focus. So people who think they don't have enough or feel deprived will be deprived? If they wish. Do you know if you distributed equally all the prosperity of the globe to every entity that is existing in your now? But in two years of your time, the ones that were impoverished before will be impoverished again because it is their consciousness. So how do we change that? Change their consciousness. And you can change theirs only when you change yours. For you are their mirror and they are yours. And you, that's one of, that's one of your missions or one of your jobs? To it change is one of my desires to allow you to reflect upon the mirror of God I am, of that which is the representation of the God you are, to understand that abundance is always with you. It sounds very simple, doesn't it? It is. Simplicity is always the ultimate unlimitedness. Do you know freedom flows most naturally in unlimited thought? Um, changes in what they call masculine and feminine energy. Before I get into the actual question, can you just give us a little bit of information on masculine and feminine energy? I will describe what you call sexuality. Okay. Uh, it is polarities with a twist and a bump in the grind. Eh? <laughs> oh, but that is an encounter of a, a different kind. Yes. <laughs> it is truly the understanding of the balance of polarities and harmony of that which is male and female energy. And it is coming into grand shifting upon your plane. So each of us, male and female, have both masculine and energy within. The whole. They are not negating one another. They are two parts of a whole. Two parts of a whole. Okay. Now, the changes in this masculine and feminine energy um, are expressing themselves, itself, whatever, in, in, in our sexuality. Mm. Can you expound on that? That which you call the change in female energy is quite natural as they reclaim their power because your mother earth is female energy. Mm -hmm. Even the planet you abide upon is resonant to the abundance of that which is nurturing of essence. That which you call your masculine energy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is power, thrust, provision, organization. Your female energy, feminine, is love, reception, nurturing, intuition. And truly, each entity upon the plane will begin to experience both in a harmonious balance. Are we out of balance right now? You have been in your centuries past. You're e equalizing yourselves of now. St. Germain, does that mean that from the part of a, from a woman's standpoint, mm. we will be less afraid or more willing to be powerful, 
to take a stand, mm. to be more aggressive? Not aggressive, mm -hmm. but more understanding of your own power sourceness, not powerlessness. Okay. From a male perspective, mm. does that mean me men will be more willing to be intuitive, more sensitive, intuitive? Receptive, mm -hmm. nurturing. But will they be more willing or will they go kicking and screaming all the way? <laughs> that depends on them. So can we say then that this masculine and feminine energy and the balancing of these two, how will this manifest itself sexually? What are we talking about? Less fear and trepidation about intimate relationships and less disease, that which you call the grand disease up on the plane, that which you call AIDS. It will phase out, shall we say, as harmony comes into play. All right. These changes that we're talking about in masculine and feminine energy, they'll happen worldwide? It will naturally be global because Mother Earth herself is changing and stretching her limbs, as it were, and allowing herself to birth new understanding. And as she births new understanding, the points of consciousness that are participating with her, called the peoples of the lands, mm -hmm. will also birth new understanding within their own beingness. What can we do now to sort of implement or help this change along? Allow yourself to experience any aspect of female or male as you. Gaze upon it as that which is your own experience of life. Are you saying there is no right, there is no wrong, a thought, a feeling, and I'm going to be very you know, honest here, an urge, something comes up, as long as you're not hurting anybody, express it, love it, don't judge it. I will tell you this, my beloved. That which is masculine energy is of your world consciousness. It is that which will not allow a void or a space in understanding. It is a desire to fill the spaces of all understanding. That is why there is such an urgency to understand now. And that which is its complement is the female energy, awesome in power of allowance of life to be. And do you know, when this balance occurs globally, that allowance to be an automatic understanding will coexist. This is how the changes will occur. It shall be several years in your hint's time, 20 or 25. These changes in our sexuality and our masculine and feminine energies obviously are going to have effect on relationships. Mm. Maybe you've answered this already. Does it basically mean that we're going to have more intimate, more fulfilling relationships? Do you know every single moment of an entity's life, they are fervently seeking themselves? This is what relationships are all about, experience with themselves. They go forth in utter desire, and yet they have a very straightforward way of dodging themselves from time to time. And they truly understand not that it is themselves they are gazing upon. And so they feel unfulfilled, ever searching, ever seeking for the perfect relationship. Now, the shift in consciousness, the changes, will allow an entity to understand that everything they gaze upon is part of themselves. Every consciousness, every atom upon the plane is a relationship with their own being, for they share the same energy. And in this understanding, of course, it is global.